dry bulb and heating dry bulb are um, sufficient along with the drift point. So this is based on the people schedule. When it drops to 5% or lower, um, it will be allowed to go to these temperatures. You have to be careful with these because if you set these at, at too great a distance, it's almost guaranteed to cause unmet hours. In fact, this is probably enough to cause unmet hours right here. The other thing to mention, and I see this on a number of files that we review, people, people forget to switch the heating dry bulb and cooling dry bulb to be within 5 degrees. They need to be 5 degrees apart. Uh, that's a rule by a lead. So the heating dry bulb cannot be 72 degrees or we're violating that rule. It's just something that because of the defaults in trace, people sometimes forget. And actually, these templates were identical, but we would want to be editing the general building. Remember when you create construction and thermostat templates, you don't need to create one for every single room type. So right here, we just basically have one, actually two for construction. Okay, so we set up the schedules or we're going to say that we've completed this. Unfortunately, you can't edit templates in the component review, so you're stuck doing this one by one. One final thing, because I can't emphasize this enough. This cooling design schedule, not only is it not the right schedule Almost in every case, it's it's the incorrect schedule. I've only seen one project at a NASA facility that would ever use something like this, and it was some sort of experimental uh, motor that was running literally 24-7. But this number, in general, will screw up this whole miscellaneous loads requirement, and when you screw that up, it actually knocks your lead points down. Because if this number is too high, that can be a large percentage of your energy, and since that needs to stay the same in the baseline building, it's one of the things that's required to stay the same, you actually lower the possible number of points you can get. I actually uh, wrote a little article explaining plug loads and how simply doing a few things there could yield you additional lead points, and it's something that costs nothing but a little bit of time, and it can yield something like one, two more points pretty easily. So, okay, so a number of you asked about these thermal blocks. So we have 42 rooms, and let's just go back to the slide so that we can see the thermal blocks. And so this is, a, this is the first floor. And so we have room uh, 109 through 112, and that's what we'll focus on. So we have four rooms in one thermal block, and actually if we look at the drawing, this is a, its own room right here. 